What's up, everyone? Happy Tuesday. We got down here, Hendrickson Lake, hanging out with the ducks. The ducks are up. How about you? We beat the sun up this morning. Sun's still sleeping behind the trees over there. But the ducks are up doing their thing. The ducks are up. Hey, Dawn. Dawn's always up. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Again, a little chilly, 48 degrees. Over here in Valley Stream, New York, Hendrickson Park. Uh, another great park in the area. We're blessed to have so much uh, beautiful stuff around us, beautiful waterfront. Uh, we get the salt water. We get the fresh water. We get uh, park areas with trees and grass and so much, so much open space and so much pretty space that a lot of us take for granted. A lot of us uh, don't take advantage of all the awesomeness that is around us. Uh, here, check this out. Check out all the mums over here. I love mums. It's mum season. Love the mums. So, all right. So yesterday was a busy day. Uh, got a bunch of work done. And then uh, in the afternoon, I spoke to the Hofstra real estate class uh, through my friend, Joe Sonona, who teaches that class. He, uh, he brought me in as a guest speaker to give some inspiration to the new real estate agents. And I give them an idea of what is possible. Uh, give them a little boost of knowledge and try and get them started on their real estate journey. And uh, I love to give back. It's, uh, it's fun um, to share um, what I've learned and uh, the stuff I've done. And uh, to give it to the people that are just starting out. Uh, we talked about a fact that 87% uh, of people that start in real estate don't make it through, I believe, it's the first year. So that's a pretty high failure rate. And uh, part of it is because the system is broken. Um, the real estate class that they teach teaches all about the laws and the rules and the regulations, all that good stuff, which is good. Uh, but it doesn't teach you how to sell real estate. It doesn't teach you how to do an open house. It doesn't teach you how to get leads. It doesn't teach you how to do all the paperwork. Um, it really doesn't teach you much at all, really, when you think about it. Um, and the system is broken. And uh, this is my topic of the day. Um, broken systems, broken systems. Uh, what in your life is a broken system? What in your life doesn't get the results that it should because the system is broken? Um, we talk about uh, going to the gym. Dawn just mentioned she was at the gym at 5 a.m. Um, if your health is broken, and your you know, physique is broken, but you're not, uh, but you're filling yourself with McDonald's every day and you're sleeping late and you're not moving, um, that system is broken, that system is broken. So what can you do to change the broken system? You can start riding at dawn, uh, or dawn rides at the gym. Uh, you can get up and you can change the system and you can reset the broken system. Uh, in your life, your finances aren't right. Um, you're struggling to make ends meet, stressed out. And why is that? Because your system is broken. Um, what you're doing for a living probably isn't, you know, what needs to be. Or you're spending too much. Um, it's part of that. Sometimes, uh, you know, you don't have a uh, income problem. You have a spending problem. Um, but either way, system is broken. Uh, if you're spending too much, if you're spending tons of time on Amazon and and uh, ordering everything that shows up on the screen. Just like uh, they want you to do, um, that system is broken. Uh, in your relationships, in your marriage, if you're uh, not happy in your marriage, you're not happy in your relationship. Um, the system's probably broken. You're probably not putting any effort. You're probably not um, putting someone else's uh, needs and wishes and heart first. Um, the system is broken. So. In the course of today and as you go forward, look at what's going on in your life and figure out which systems are broken and figure out how you can fix that broken system. Don't just keep repeating the broken system. In this real estate class, every, I guess it's every half a year, they put out another class of students and it's state mandated the education. And we put out another, I don't know, out of this class alone, he maybe graduates 30, 40 people. And at 30, 40 people, they spent 500 bucks or whatever it is to learn the class. They spent 75 hours in school and they learned all about the laws and regulations of real estate, but they never learned 
how to actually sell real estate. They never learned how to take care of their clients. Um, and that's a broken system. And it just keeps repeating, just keeps repeating, just keeps repeating. Um, a lot of our education system, same thing. Uh, we don't teach kids and people how to live life. We don't teach them how to, uh, you know, balance a checkbook anymore. You know, we don't teach them how to uh, navigate social media is probably a big thing that should be taught these days. It's such a big part of our lives. We don't teach what should be taught. We don't teach real world stuff. We teach um, a lot of stuff out of the book that we'll never use in our lives. And that's a broken system. So anyway, that's your message of the day. What systems in your life are broken and how can you fix them? Stop and think. We talk a lot about being present. Last night, uh, I was on our Monday night podcast, Get Some Fire Live. We had Stacy Rasky on, me and Samuel Smith. And uh, go back and look at that. If you didn't see it, we had a lot of fun. Um, and we talked a lot about uh, a lot of things, mindset being one of them, boundaries, um, keeping our heads in a good place, uh, protecting our hearts. And um, it's a great, great, we had a great episode last night. So go back and look at that. Um, if you haven't, it's on my wall. Um, get some fire live every Monday night, 830 Eastern time. We go live with uh, someone new. So oh, Dawn's trying to come on. You want to come on, Dawn? Let's let Dawn on. All right, Dawn, you coming on? There we go. Hi. There's Dawn. Good morning. So much. How are you? Out of <laughs> so, so to your point about broken systems. So yes, I for been on a diet, lost thirty five pounds, but broken system, and I'm stuck and I'm not moving. So that's why I went to the gym. Yeah. You know, to to change it, change it up. Yeah. So and that's going to be my new thing. Instead of doing it here on the bike and, you know, just doing that, I changed it up. Yep. So to your point, broken system. So much stuff in our life is broken and we just keep repeating yeah. the broken process. We just keep repeating, you know, it's, Gotta we're, change. You know, we're not making the changes. Yeah. And we're, you know, the problem is a lot of us aren't being present in life. I, I've realized that so much, so many of us are just so <laughs> overwhelmed and so, again, don't have boundaries. We're letting everything come into our lives and it's just overwhelming us. And we don't take the time to actually figure out what we're doing. We just go through the motions. Exactly. We don't realize that our system's broken because we're so stuck in a broken system. It's a, a vicious cycle that uh, goes on. I see, 100%. I see so many people um, that are struggling with being stuck. I hear it all the time, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in my head, I'm stuck in my weight, I'm stuck in my business. Um, yeah. And because we're not really taking the time to figure out what we're doing. We're just we're just going through the yeah. motions. We're not, we're not evaluating. We really need to stop and, and stand back and evaluate. Um, a lot of times in, in the coaching world, that's where coaching comes in big because you have that person that's looking at you going, why the hell are you doing that? That doesn't make any sense. And it's like, wow, you know what? You're right. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's a broken system. And, um, yeah. in, in the, this world that I'm, I'm into now with apex, it's, uh, where everyone's basically a coach. Um, they look at what you're doing and why you're doing that. That doesn't make any sense. And you don't even realize why you're doing it. You're like, uh, I don't know. I always did that. Like, why shouldn't I do that? And you're like, that's a broken system. It's so, some of it's so obvious, but we don't actually take the time to just evaluate what we're doing. It's just, we just do it and we don't think, and it just becomes programmed. And that broken system just goes over and over and over again. We don't get to where we need to be. So, uh, well, these, you know, these talks that you keep having in the morning, I mean, it's totally motivating me to like, you know, little words that you say and little things that you say in these messages, they just, it, it just resonates with me and then it just gets me thinking and it's something that you said and i can't remember exactly what it said you said this week but i was just like you know what why am I, you something about your true self i think it was and i was like i used to do that every day like yeah. every day yeah. like that was me like why am i not doing this anymore you know yeah. and it's been years and i'm like okay well here i am i'm getting up at 5 a.m and i'm going in <laughs> yeah so you, know, it's, I, and you, I, you gotta commit to it you know listen you know do, do i want to get up at 5 45 every morning and jump on a bike out in the cold and go right around for you know an hour and whatnot no i'm tired some mornings i'm up and i want to and some mornings i'm like my legs hurt my back hurts i got i was up late last night you know um and but you know what we're going if i want to commit to change and i want to commit to 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 stay in uh skinny it took it took a lot of work to uh for me to lose you know 75 pounds or whatever it was i lost and you know what if i want to keep that and i want to commit to that I got to make changes and this is something that, that keeps me grounded. Um, and then my yeah. message is, you know, everyone thinks, you know, these messages, these messages are stuff that I'm struggling with myself. That's why I'm bringing it to the table. 
I speak it into existence. Um, it's all stuff that I, you know, either I'm struggling with myself or that I have struggled with and I've realized the clarity in it and I'm trying to share that with everybody so that they're, they can stop struggling. Um, so many people I talk to, I talk to, a, it's funny, a guy last night called me out of the blue, he's a videographer and uh, he's asking if he can do some videos with me on real estate uh, yep. and help build his portfolio up. And we had about an hour conversation about mindset and life and um, same thing, he's stuck, um, stuck in life with a lot of things. And uh, we had a great conversation. It just naturally flowed. And uh, he's following me now. And um, it's kind of neat to, to be able to, to help people get unstuck and help people um, get to a place where they're, they're living life and not existing in life. Um, it's so important. I mean, time goes so fast. And we all know this. Um, if you're not doing what you want to do and you're not living the life you want to live, why? Why not? Why aren't you living what you want to do? Why aren't you doing what you want to do? If you're not happy, stop. Do something different. I mean, life just passes you by. And so many of us get stuck in this right. existence mode and you're just existing and it's just going through emotions and it's just, life's supposed to be fun, man. Life's supposed to, supposed to enjoy it. You know, it's live, it's life, right. you know, and if you're not living, uh, there's something wrong and you need to, you need to fix that broken system. You need to get out of that, that comfort zone that, that you've been in. And it's not even comfort. It's an uncomfortable comfort zone. I, I had a, one of my messages about that. Yeah. You know, we, we get comfortable being uncomfortable because we're afraid to get uncomfortable to get comfortable. You know, if you really think right, about yeah. that, you know, it's, we, we're stuck in a system that we hate and we're stuck being fat and we're stuck in a job we hate. We're stuck in a relationship we hate and we just stay there. Why? Because we're afraid to get uncomfortable right. to get out of that uncomfortable situation. And it's, it's really just a, a self-evaluation, self-awareness um, and just really just, you know, stop and, you know, come down and spend some time meditating, come down by the water and think about your life and think about what you're doing every day. And then, you know, if you're not happy with it, do something about it. Um, it's, it's really simple when you think about it, but it's just so hard for, for all of us. Uh, we get stuck. So, all right. Since you're on, you're prayer leader today. Oh. <laughs> 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 you like that, right? All right. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, all right. Our right. Father. <laughs> I love you then. You. Come on. All right, ready? Come. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Thy Hello. kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full Hail of Mary. grace. The Lord is with thee. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou. Blessed art thou. Woman. Blessed is thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary. Holy. Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. All right. Glory be Speak to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it was, is now, never shall be. Now, world without end. Amen. Amen. All right. There you go. Thank right. you. <laughs> Dear God, help us get unstuck. Help us to yeah. be uh, aware of our surroundings. Help us to be aware of the broken systems and fix those broken systems. And help us to connect with the people in our lives that charge our batteries because that's super, super important. Amen. All right, so you were breaking Amen. out a little bit. I hope we didn't lose audio during this. Sometimes when we go dual screen, uh, we lose audio, and I hope we didn't because that, that was a fun message. Um, but um, all right, everyone, so it is Tuesday. We got four days this week left to uh, go make things happen. And uh, go get unstuck. Go fix that broken system. Go, uh, go make that change you need to make and, uh, and make your life better. Stop existing. Stop existing. Go live life. So, all right, Dawn. Have a great day. Have a great day, everyone. Enjoy. Uh, put your head in a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. There you go, fire. Bye. <laughs> Bye.